I, I learned this from obviously running Kegley. When sales were down, we started looking at, hey, are, are they working? <laughs> are people right. working right now? So I wanted to talk to you about motivating a sales team. I'm at that level now where it's like, okay, now it's not about me. Now I'm the sales coach. Now I'm the guy trying to teach everyone and trying to motivate people and trying to keep people going. My Colorado division has been doing great. They've been getting deals. It's been going smoothly. My California team randomly has been in a slump the last quarter. Like honestly, the last quarter they didn't, they got like one deal, two deals, which is really low for my team. I can feel their morale. Yeah. dipping a little bit yeah which really sucks has right? the, the kpis and, yeah. been dripping too or dipping too are you tracking those i am tracking the kpis and that might be the answer is i started last month doing one-on-ones i wasn't doing one-on-ones beforehand and i was realizing i'm like hey guys we're not hitting our conversations <laughs> yeah, <goals."> <laughs> listen <laughs> let me tell you something right i i learned this from obviously running kegley when sales were down, we started looking at, hey, are, are they working? <laughs> are people right. working right now? And then it's like, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? It's just like, the sales are down. You check their numbers. The numbers are down. Sales are down. Check their numbers. The numbers are down. Morale is down. Sales are down. Numbers are down. And it's just, right. just like, it's just like, the, and so, <clears throat> and then are they all in the same office or do they work independently of each other? Or do they, do well, they everyone's have virtual. like- do they communicate with each other? Do they lift each other up? Is there a sales rah-rah in the morning? Do you get everybody up on a Zoom in the morning and say, so what hey. I do, what I do is I get everybody, everybody meets in the morning at 9 a.m. We start the day with a 15-minute meditation. And then I do daily affirmations. And then we kind of just go over the checklist things to do. I'd probably say once a week, there's a sales meeting where I like literally, I'm like, all right, guys, what what's going on here? And I might like do kind of like a speech almost and be like, Here's what we're not doing. We're not focusing on the problems of the sellers. You're right. Right now, I see a lot of common theme of blah, blah, blah. But I don't know if there's just like, I'm curious if there's like any extra things that can be done or that like Keegley does to like motivate people or like, how do you get out of the spiral? You were literally talking about that sounds exactly what I'm in where it's like, yeah, it's because you're focused numbers. on you're focused outside in right now. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe and here's a quick word from our sponsor. Hey handsome, this video is brought to you by Keegley Franchise. If you wanna have a wholesale business that's as awesome as mine, because it kinda is mine, but it'll be yours, what you wanna do is click on the link in the description and figure out how you can have a conversation with somebody on my team and become a Keegley Franchise. Now stop watching me over here and watch me over there, bear. And I know you're doing the affirmations, you're doing the meditations and that stuff, but like how involved are they in that? Are they just like showing up like, can't wait till this is over. See, I don't know. It's hard. With the it's, a, it's, it's a hard thing to figure out, right? Like you got to ask. And you also might just have the wrong people. You might just have some people that are like negative. And, Cause that's another thing, man. You, that's a poison. Sometimes you got toxins. Sometimes you got a toxic person in there. That's like feeding the tribe poison. And then and everyone's just feeling bad. And it's not there. It's not because they're trying to sabotage you. They're just self-sabotaging themselves. And then they sabotage everybody around them. And it's a thing. We've experienced that at Kegley before. And then we now, like if we identify, oh, there's the, there it is, suck it out, get it out. And then we just understand. Then we let everybody know afterwards, like, hey, guys, we listen, we need to do a, a reset because we have to understand that this, is, this business is about heart. This business is about how we feel. This is about how we are interacting in the world as like service providers. And if you don't, go out there and feel like you're providing a service to somebody where you genuinely care to help solve a problem. When you aren't in that energy, when you're not in that space, you're just going out there and doing the actions and those actions are going to be hard. And then you're right. going to allow yourself every excuse available to justify the reason why stuff's not working for you. Thanks for watching another one of my YouTube videos. Now it's your turn to go out and take some action. But before you do, like and subscribe to my channel because the law of reciprocity means you owe me, bitch.